Well, we did a thing. We're going from our 23 foot Gemini with the whole wall slide to a 21 foot Winnebago Travato with no slides. I sure hope we did the right thing. We bought a van. We're going from this to that. To that. We have been fascinated by these Class B vans forever and we probably would have gotten one in the first place if it wasn't for me and not wanting a wet bath. I've gotten over that and we're making a change. We're going to put out this slide for the last time so we can transfer all of our stuff from one to the other. Now this is going to be a challenge because we have a lot of gear in LE and not as much storage in LE too. So, we'll see how this goes. Now, it is time to move out of this one and into this one. We have our work cut out for us. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna move all of our essentials. So our clothing, our toiletries, our dishes, our food. Then we'll worry about the non-essential stuff, because we are gonna have to purge. We're gonna do pretty good with our closet space. It's a pretty nice size closet in there. I just realized I got way too many pairs of sunglasses. I got a lot of them. Oh, so I got choices. And stogies, humidor, traveling humidor, necessities. Why do we have so many shoes? Seriously, lots of shoes. Ooh. See how red my face is? Yeah, we're in Arizona. It's hot. <laughs> it's not hot yet, but it's getting hot. Wow. We're hot because we've been working all day. Yeah. And we are finished. We have loaded out of the old and in with the new, and everything went together pretty darn good, I will say. We were so surprised. Our bins that we had in here and our baskets fit in those compartments. We had to kind of, you know, miss and match them, but they fit perfect. Got the master packer. Oh, yeah. I'm good like that. Lucky to have her because she really put that thing together like a puzzle. I can't believe how much we got in it, honestly. I know. We were nervous, really nervous going into it, but to my surprise, and there's a giant bee that just came into Ellie. Oh, goody. Oh, hi, Mr. Bee. Springtime is here. And now I can't figure out how to get out. <laughs> yeah. Whew, man, I'm hot. Anyway, we are done mm -hmm. transitioning from the old into the new, and it is time to purge some stuff. We have um, a big pile of donation. We're going to go back to the RV park, and they have kind of a community room, and we're going to put it all in there with a sign saying, hey, we don't sized uh take anything you want and lot, there's some good stuff in there a lot of cool free stuff for somebody some lucky winner yeah <laughs> but it is time to leave ellie ellie one ellie one and move to ellie two but it's really we're just calling her ellie yeah but we want to say goodbye so goodbye ellie one goodbye. we love you we had lots of wonderful memories and miles we put about twelve thousand miles on her mm-hmm We'll put and lots we, of stickers on her. Lots of stickers on her. We're going to have to, I don't know, we'll have to figure that out on the van situation. But we're leaving her in some beautiful overlander country out mm -hmm. here for her to roam. Hopefully we get some good owners that are going to get her and drive her all over the country so she can see more. Yeah. But anyway, that is a wrap for today. And uh, we wanted to say goodbye to Ellie. And we wanted you guys to be there along with us. So everybody say goodbye, Ellie. Goodbye, Goodbye, Ellie. Ellie. We're leaving some of our personal touches, our home sweet home sign, and our home is not a place, it's a feeling, and our not all who wander are lost. So we're, we've left our personal touch on Ellie. Now I'm gonna pull in the slide for the last time. In she goes. It's 
so bittersweet. Close and shop. Goodbye, Ellie One. Safe travels. We hope your new owners take very good care of you. We do. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. meet our new Ellie. So this is our kitchen area right here. We have a table that will move in between our bedding to make a dining table or workspace for us. We've got everything we need right here. We've got a refrigerator and it actually is bigger than I expected it to be for a van. We have a convection microwave so we can use it as a microwave or an oven. We have a two burner stove and a sink, everything we need for cooking on the road. These chairs spin around too, so we have a living space right here. It's really pretty cool. We'll give like a really detailed video later. I just want to show you around because we're so excited. We really have a lot more storage than I was expecting too. I mean, look, we've got all of our dishes and pots and pans in here, big drawers at the bottom. Um, then we've got our pantry. This is our pantry here and here. So all of our food bins fit up here. I'm really impressed with the storage space. And this is our bedroom area. So you can make this into two sofas, but realistically, we're not gonna have guests over. We're gonna sleep in here. So we've got it made up as beds, really comfortable. I've slept very good. We're not used to sleeping in separate beds, but this floor plan just made the most sense for us. So the little TV here, it's really awesome. It's got a nice little Bluetooth sound bar on it. Sounds really great. Great little quality TV. It's also on a little swing arm. So you can pull a little cord and it'll swing out and you can reposition it wherever you need it. And here's the bathroom. I was the one that did not want a wet bath, but finding this floor plan, this is really spacious for a wet bath. So we do have the shower and it's an adjustable head. Um, the toilet is right here, and hey, we actually have a porcelain toilet. It's not plastic anymore. Um, the medicine cabinet with a mirror. Plenty of storage. I was actually able to fit everything in here that I had in my cabinet in the Gemini. I was pretty impressed with that. And check out the sink, how cool this is. Sink folds down. And then all you do is press the water pump button. And we have water. Then you fold it back up. Like that. That's neat. The coolest feature, or not the coolest, but one of the coolest features about this van is it has a closet. 99% of vans don't have closets. This one does. And it's got shell, it's got a bar, but for us it's better to use the shelves. And we've just folded all of our clothes and I just kind of threw them in here because we were moving from one to another. It will be much neater next time we go out. But it holds everything. And then a massive drawer. Look how big this drawer is. To put all of our cleaning products, shampoo, conditioner, underwear, socks, all that good stuff. So, like I said, plenty of storage. The other cool thing is, see this, is a roll-down screen. So if we're having good weather and it's not noisy outside, it's very peaceful, we can open these doors, open the slide door, roll down the screen, and sleep with the doors open. Or poop with the door open. <laughs> or poop with the door open. <laughs> Nature. All right, Tucson, it's time to go. It's been fun. Who knew we were gonna stop off in Tucson on the way home <laughs> and buy a van, but we did. We're super excited to drive her home. It's time to go now. See ya. Let's go.
Okay, we are back home. We've got Ellie, our brand new van, back at the house. Yes, we're still calling her Ellie. And one thing that we wanna keep up the tradition of is putting the stickers from each state that we visit. So we have a new map. This is where the map's gonna go. We did get a different map for the van than we had for the RV, because we want it to have a different personality on the map. So here's where it's gonna go. Let's get it put on. did a good job putting that on. There's a couple little bubbles, but all you have to do is take a little pin, stick it in the hole, and it takes the bubble out. And the last sticker to put on is Arizona, where she came from. So what this means is there's a lot more adventures to come. So be sure and stay tuned for our future RV videos. If you're new to our channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of those adventures because we have a lot of fun stuff planned. We made it home. We still have Ellie, but it's just a different Ellie. Yeah, we will continue to call our RV Ellie. For those of you who don't know, it stands for EECC Travels Little Land Yacht. So it still applies whether we have our small RV or our van. So we're excited to move on to this next chapter. There are a couple of reasons why we decided to make the change. Um, and one of them was really just the versatility of the smallness of it, being able to dart downtown and park it and get out and go explore and then be able to get back in it and just, it's just really, really versatile. It really is. So in the beginning, before when we first started looking at RVs, we were both fascinated with the vans. And I was the holdout on getting a van in the beginning because I was terrified of a wet bath. Yeah. And the more that we've traveled, the more that we've camped, we realize that we don't shower in the RV a lot. We shower in the RV parks. Right. And we're not the type of campers that go and set up for the weekend and like, you know, have this big sprawling. We're, we don't drop anchor, so to right. speak. We're not weekend warriors. We love to camp. There's yeah. nothing wrong with being a weekend warrior. Don't misunderstand us, but that's just not how we travel. We get on the road and we go, we keep moving. We do. And so really cool story on the way home, we stopped in Texas to spend the night and we were, you know, set up for the night. I was sleeping all night and Jason wakes up at the crack of dawn at like 530 in the morning. He's like, I'm ready to go. He's, he said, you know what? You can keep sleeping and I'm gonna take off, and that's what he did. Yeah, so I just pulled the blinds down that were in front of the windshield and <laughs> pulled the little blinds down on, on the side windows yep. and left the blinds up back where she was sleeping, mm -hmm. and I was just like, you know, this is really nice that I don't have to wait for her to get up because I'm an early riser. Yep. She wakes up a little bit later, um, and usually, like in the old Ellie, in the Gemini, have to wait for her to get up and get rounded around and we'd have to make the bed and put the bed up and then put the slide mm -hmm. in and it was an ordeal yeah well this way i'm just like stay put sleep till your heart desires i'm on the road and she, she stayed in the bed for like a couple of hours I did. and i'm flying down i-20 at 80 miles an hour while she's back there snoozing that <laughs> right there within itself is the main yep. reason we got the van because we we really like the fact of being able to um, swap out driving. One of us mm -hmm. can go in the back and sleep. Or, um, it's easy to get up and get to the refrigerator, use the bathroom if you need to. It's, it's very livable mm -hmm. while you're driving. Right. So yeah, in the Gemini, I could get up and get to the kitchen, get to the bathroom, but we couldn't get to the bed. And it's not something that like we would do often, you know, I think we're still gonna both be up front, but I tell you what, I loved the fact that I could stay in bed and he was driving down the road and we, we, were, we were gone, I loved it. Yeah, and I wasn't real comfortable with her driving um, nope. the Gemini. I mean, not that she couldn't, she could, she did drive it. I just wasn't super comfortable with it because it's a little bit 
more top heavier than the van. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just like driving an SUV. Yeah. Um, so I'm very comfortable with her driving it. She did drive it, helped me drive it home yeah. from California. And I was able to get in the back and, and get some rest. And that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. But again, really it's all about being able to live in it while we're going down mm -hmm. the road, being able to drive down um, and get close to the river's edge, yep. um, do some boondocking in it, go downtown and actually be able to park and get out and explore the town without taking up too much space, being able to do U-turns if we need to. Mm -hmm. We just love the versatility of a van. It is our living space and it is our vehicle. We don't have to have a tow vehicle. We do have a scooter. We will be taking that with us. We are gonna be getting some e-bikes. Well, that's gonna come up in another video. We'll be taking those with us. So that's why we chose the van, you guys, and we, we don't regret it. We're not at all. We were scared that we would regret it, but we do not. Mm -hmm. Super excited, and I'm glad we made the decision because we are loving it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I can't wait for our next road trip. So yeah, our next trip is we are going to Hawaii. Well, obviously can't drive to Hawaii, but we were planning on flying to California and then flying to Hawaii. Uh-uh, we're driving. So we, we're so excited. We love the van so much that we're gonna make that drive to California again, have our van with us, go spend some more time with Ethan and Hennessy's, and we've got a vehicle and our, our home right there with us. It's fabulous. Yeah. And you know, we just want to spend some more time with our new toy, yes, right? Get her broke, much. get her broke in. We, we bought her brand spanking new in Tucson, Arizona. It was a complete impulsive decision. Very impulsive. <laughs> we had, like Elisa said earlier, we were very intrigued with the idea. Mm -hmm. We had Ellie one, we're calling the Gemini Ellie one for just under two years, mm -hmm. about a year and a half. Yep. And we loved her. Uh, she was a great RV for us. We took her all the way up the East Coast. We spent a lot of time with her, put about 12,000 miles on her, and she was a great RV. So anybody that is looking to get a Thor Gemini 23 TW like what we had, mm -hmm. I can definitely say go for it because yeah. it's a great RV. Um, you know, like any RV, you're gonna have some issues, but that's just to be expected. You know, there's really no way around that, but uh, they were very minor issues that we had. She was a great vehicle. She was. And uh, we will miss her, but we are happy to have our new addition. Yes, very much so. We will see you guys on the road. Very soon. project this morning and I got all the magnets on the new fridge. Ta-da! Well done! Much smaller fridge. Yes, but that's okay <laughs> we're gonna, because it works. We're gonna fill it way quicker. 